Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin visited Kyiv on Sunday. Plus, reporters Jessica Gein and Jamie Fraser look at data that shows Asian women are being shut out of many CEO roles, Emmanuel Macron wins re-election in France, national correspondent Trevor Hughes looks at the role of inflation on healthy eating choices and the Supreme Court hears oral arguments. Good morning. I'm Taylor Wilson and this is 5 Things You Need to Know Monday, the 25th of April 2022. Today, U.S. officials in Ukraine plus how Asian women are shut out of leadership roles at top companies and more. Here are some of the top headlines, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and U.S. Defense Chief Lloyd Austin met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Ukraine's capital of Kyiv last night. Their meeting is the highest-ranking visit to Ukraine by a U.S. delegation since Russia began its invasion. In the meetings, the pair said the U.S. approved a $165 million sale of ammunition for Ukraine's war effort, along with more than $300 million in foreign military financing. Afterwards, Blinken told reporters that Russia is failing. We're seeing that when come to Russia's war games, Russia is failing, Ukraine is succeeding. Russia has sought as its principal aim to totally subjugate Ukraine, to take away its sovereignty, to take away its independence. That has failed. It sought to assert the power of its military and its economy. We, of course, are seeing just the opposite, a military that is dramatically underperforming, an economy as a result of sanctions, as a result of a mass exodus from Russia that is in shambles. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, expressed gratitude for the American aid. He said a foreign priority needs to be weapons and support from the U.S. and others, while adding that another approach is continued sanctions against Russia. Yesterday's meeting came on the 60th day of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The war is now centered in the eastern Donbas region as Russia tries to secure a land corridor to the southern Crimean Peninsula. The United Nations says more than 5 million people have fled Ukraine since the invasion began in February. Beginning today, the U.S. will be upping efforts to bring in refugees. A government program called Uniting for Ukraine will begin. Under the program, U.S. citizens and groups can apply to sponsor Ukrainian refugees. Ukrainians who are approved will be given permissions to live and work in the U.S. for up to two years.